Hi everybody, Mike Sturgis here and welcome to this video tutorial. And in this session I'm going to be talking about ghost and notes and in particular how they apply to something called the King Kong Groove, which is something made famous by one of my favorite drummers, David Garibaldi of the Tower of Power. Ghosted notes, uh, just by definition, they're kind of the little notes that fall in between the backbeat when you play patterns. And uh, sometimes they occur a little bit randomly, sometimes by design. So um, I'll, I'll just play you a pattern that, that uh, features some ghost notes just so you have the idea of what I'm talking about. Three and four. Okay, so they're the little notes in between the backbeat and they just fill out the pattern a little bit, make it a little bit fatter, a little bit more funky. With the King Kong pattern, what it is, this is a, a, a defined rhythm for the left hand to play in the context of really uh, lots of different grooves or patterns. And I'll just explain what that is. It's a two beat rhythm and so it, it can occur over two beats and you can extend it over a beat of 4-4 four, four if that uh, is applicable to you at the time. So the actual rhythm sounds like this. 3 and 4 and 1 E and 2 E and uh, 3 E and 4 E and uh, 1 E and 2 E and uh, 3 E and 4 E and uh, okay? And the idea with that is is to actually accent on 2 and 4, beats 2 and 4 on the snare drum. So you have accented notes on the snare drum, non-accented notes. And just by way of definition, the, the accented notes on your snare drum should be about 8 to 12 inches off the head, give or take, and your non-accented notes about 1 to 2 inches off the head. So if we play that rhythm in that way on the snare drum, it's going to look and sound like this. 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 1, so that is the main rhythm for the King Kong groove, or basic version of it. And what I'm going to do now is just take uh, the hi-hat and the bass drum, and I'm going to put some stuff around that. Keep it very simple for now. Eighth notes on the hi-hat, probably mostly one and three on the kick drum, just so you can hear that snare drum rhythm in context. Here we go. One, two, three. So it's starting to shape up now. You can hear that the pattern's getting a little bit fuller, a little bit more interesting. If we bring the tempo up on that a little bit, and I'm just going to improvise a little bit on the bass drum. Obviously there's just loads of possibilities, different things that you can do on the bass drum and the hi-hat. So I'm going to do a little bit of that now, and you can hear the actual uh, snare drum rhythm and the ghosted notes in full flow. One, two, three. Right, so that's uh, the King Kong groove kind of speeded up, a little bit more varied and uh, a little bit busier in between hi-hat and bass drum, but fundamentally sticking to that same thing in the left hand. Just want to leave you with one last thing in this session. Anything that you do like that, that has a straight feel, so in this case we had a straight feel, we were one, two, three, four, that was our interpretation of the subdivision, can be done as a swing as well. So you can think of the subdivision like this. One, two, three, four. 
And so you can take that same uh, King Kong groove, that same pattern on the left hand, and make it swing. So a little bit like this. One, two, three. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed that. That King Kong groove has been a life changer for me, uh, and, and, a, and that's no exaggeration. I love the pattern, and I hope uh, you found it interesting as well. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.